With an electric dryer, you just plug it in and hook up the exhaust. With a gas dryer, there's a couple more steps involved. Firstly, if you're on propane, you're gonna need to uh, go ahead and purchase an LP kit or a conversion kit. And I did a video on converting this exact dryer right here, so I will link to a card right up here so you can click on that and uh, see how the process works for converting from natural gas to propane. Almost all dryers that I'm aware of come ready to hook up to natural gas and not propane. Propane runs at a slightly higher pressure, so you need to make sure that you convert to the proper gas. So we'll go ahead and get this thing hooked up uh, one step at a time here and I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. On the back of the gas dryer, you'll have your uh, regular 120 volt plug that you're going to be uh, supplying power to the unit with, so that's fairly standard. Then we have our standard four inch exhaust vent, and then down here in the corner, we do have our gas line. Most gas dryers have a 3 8 uh, black iron inlet, and so you're gonna wanna purchase a flex connector, and they make these things that are pretty much set up just for gas dryers. On this side over here, it's half inch black iron male threads. That's typical to go into a half inch ball valve, which I'll show you in a minute. And then on this side, it's got our female 3 8 inch black iron threads, which will thread right onto there. You will need some pipe thread sealant, of course, so I'll link to this stuff in the description below. This is my favorite type, as well as a link to a flex connector so that you can uh, get going with this. Now, before we put this thing in place, we're gonna go ahead and just attach at least this side of the flex connector so that we have to make as few connections as possible while this thing is in place. We have a fairly generous amount of pipe dope on there, as you can see. Then we'll go ahead and snug it up. <laughs> Note that you don't wanna to put too much torque on here, and theoretically you could double wrench this with the channel lock over here, um, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, you get this thing good and snug and call it quits, and then we'll check it for leaks, of course, once we've turned on the gas. Here's our gas line coming out of the wall. I had a plug in here. Anytime you have a gas line that is not being used, make sure that you cap it off. It just takes one bump of this valve here and gas will fill your house and could kill everyone in the household. So be safe. Now, if this is the first time that you'll be running your gas dryer, uh, it's a good idea to bleed the air out of the line and uh, You can kind of smell when it eventually turns to propane. <laughs> I think we got propane now. Oh, smells terrible. So we'll go ahead and put some uh, pipe dope on this connection here and get this tightened into here securely. Now I'm gonna double wrench this one. I'm gonna hold the valve with the my crescent wrench while I tighten the fitting with my channel lock. There we are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect this first side of the, of the flex connector. And this doesn't need any thread sealant on it because it's a, it's a flare fitting. And again, we're gonna be double wrenching it as we did earlier. And get that good and snug. Now be sure to use proper lifting technique when you lift the dryer on top of the washing machine. I'm pretty sure whatever I'm going to do now is proper lifting technique. Let me know in the comments if I did it correctly or not. Like that. Imagination's playing tricks on me. And here's our last connection that we have to make here. So we are once again gonna double wrench this. And get that nice and tight. Now we can turn on our gas. Now we're gonna check all of our connections uh, for leaks using some soap and water and or leak detector. 
Here's a leak detector that I use. As you can see, I'm running low. I need to buy some more, but I'll link it in the description. It's very nice. This stuff's also nice because it works uh, when it's below freezing. I didn't get good video of applying the leak detector, but I'll uh, put some B-roll in here showing me using that same leak detector in a different situation, as well as what it looks like when it does bubble. If you have a leak, usually you can tighten these fittings just a little bit more and it'll take care of it, but always make sure that it's not an actual defect on the pipe, uh, rather than it just being something with it not being tight enough. Because sometimes you can have a crack in a fitting or in a stainless steel flex connector, and so you want to make sure that they are in very good condition. Okay, for the dryer vent, I'm going to be using this uh, aluminum flex duct. Whenever you're doing dryer venting, uh, you want to avoid using screws as much as possible. So at connection points, if you can use like a foil tape like this, instead of running screws in it, that's actually going to be better because it's less likely for lint to be able to accumulate on that screw that is sticking into the vent. Now, I'm not going to be using any galvanized fittings. I'm actually just going to use a short chunk of this, probably about this much of it. On either end, uh, you want to use a big stainless steel hose clamp uh, to clamp this on to the connection point on the back of the dryer, as well as on the vent going out to the outside. Here's what that connection looks like after it's been made. You can see the hose clamp right there on that end, and then the pipe comes up and attaches right over here, where we've got our additional stainless steel hose clamp attaching to our pipe that comes to the outside. Note that I also installed the wires needed if I ever want to use an electric dryer in this location. It's always a good idea to have both options. If your laundry is upstairs, you definitely want to take uh, into consideration any leakage that may occur. So if that's the case, you're going to want to look into a drain pan for your washer. And I made a video about that, so go ahead and click right over here and that'll bring you into that video. And we'll see you over there in just a few seconds. Thanks ton for watching and we'll talk to you in the next one. Can I come up and see it? Yeah. Are you still videoing? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh my, look at all the choices. Pushed it this one time, but on, but not in the future, okay? Does it make pretty sounds? <gasps> yeah. So cool.